In China, buildings and structures can be knocked down in the blink of an eye. No matter how big they are. In this video we will take a look at the most spectacular demolition of highway, overpass, bridges and buildings in China. Which of the following demolition is your number one? Tell us in comments section below. Now let's start with number one. In Kunming, the capital of Yunnan province, Sunshine City 2, was one of many housing projects that was initiated in 2011, but could not complete it and had been abandoned for years due to money shortage and involvements of many builders. The government had to bring in and take the drastic step to demolish the half-built structures, after building basements were submerged in rainwater, making the structures weak and dangerous for nearby areas. The demolition required 4.6 metric tons of explosives, installed at some 85,000 detonation points on the buildings. On August 27, more than 5,300 residents had to be evacuated for the work. Just 45 seconds to tear the 15 massive buildings. Now let's move to number 2, which is the longest concrete bridge demolition in China's history. The 3.5 km long, Yang Viaduct China Bridge. Located in eastern Chinese city in Wuhan. It's the important part of China's National Highway 318. In 2013, the government decided to replace this bridge as its design capacity is far below than needed. Demolition of 3.5 km long bridge is not an easy task in itself. Secondly, the bridge is closely surrounded by residential buildings. Making the situation worse, major gas pipes and power transmission lines ran parallel beneath the bridge. Engineers come up with the solution of covering the pipes with cotton, wires and sandbags to prevent flying debris and put water bags on viaduct to reduce the spreading of dust in demolition. Bomb experts, spent weeks in preparing the bridge for blast. On demolition day, a breathtaking orgy of flashes, bangs and perfectly timed destruction, a two-mile viaduct is blown to smithereens in China. Number 3 is the 44 years old Wuxi Bridge, connecting the north and south of Wuxi County in southwest China's Chongqing Municipality. Built in 1973, the bridge was an important part of the S-102 Provincial Highway. Due to a defect, which impeded its function and load capacity, it was deemed dangerous. In 2013, officials decided to replace this bridge with more spacious one. Engineers prepared Wuxi Bridge with tons of explosives. On Wednesday at 10 a.m., massive booming explosion dismantled the bridge within just three seconds. A new bridge will be built in its place. Number 4 is the 39 year old Nanu Bridge located in Chenchun, the capital of northeast China's Jilin Province. According to CGTN, Nanu Bridge had become potentially unsafe for public, paving way for a new one that will be designed to last to 100 years. Engineers packed the bridge which is nearly 150 meters long and 25 meters wide, with 710 kilograms of explosives. On Sunday morning, June 11, 2017. The demolition day. In what looks like a scene from an action film. Which can be seen crashing down in an incredible 3.5 seconds, giving way to dust and debris into the sky. CGTN reports the debris will take between 3 to 5 days to clear up. Number 5. The Chinese can be tremendously efficient at demolition. Longwang Miao Overpass in Nanchen, East China's Jiangxi Province, has around 5 million residents. 
officials decided for demolition of overpass because of its narrowness, the upswing in car ownership in China has made it hard for bridges to accommodate enough traffic. The overpass also needed to be demolished to make way for a new subway system. On August 26, construction workers conducted a marathon project of destruction, bringing in 116 trucks to remove a 1,640-foot, two-lane overpass. The excavators lined up in two rows, one on either side of the road, and chipped away at the bridge in complete unison. This is the incredible moment. Hundreds of excavators worked together in the city center. The project started at 10.30 p.m., and the main structure of the overpass was demolished by the end of the night. The full demolition and removal process lasted just 56 hours, and the bridge was reopened to the public again on Monday morning. It's the end for now. Like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.